In ancient Greece, stories arose of heroes on great journeys beset with mortal danger. Around two and a half thousand years later, in post-industrial Plymouth, the scene is set for a new hero. One that is so specialised that he and his kind are only found in a small area of limestone where they seek out the darkness. But while the ancient champions stood tall, ours is only three millimetres small. The horrid ground weaver spider, seeking out bare patches of earth and crevices in the rock. Don't be fooled by the name. The horrid comes from the Latin for bristly. This hairy-legged hero is actually a very rare species of money spider, and he's about to embark on a quest. His palps are like boxing gloves. At this time of year, they're full of sperm because the time has come to find a mate. He has a successful web full of springtails and other microscopic snacks, but his need to breed means he must leave it all behind. Where he's heading is only a few feet away, hardly a distant land, but at only a few millimetres long, that's quite a trek. And his goal is this. The lair of the female. No boxing gloves for her, but a much larger abdomen, making her considerably bigger than the male. The path to her door will not be easy. The way is littered with the corpses of other males who failed. What's killing them? Well, the predators are queuing up. First, the hedgehog harvestman, another rarity found only here. Crowned with distinctive spikes, this harvestman is a distant cousin of spiders, but doesn't spin webs. Instead, it uses its pincers to ensnare prey. Our male manages to make a swift exit, but he's not in the clear yet. Centipedes are prowling at pace. These voracious predators use their modified front legs as fangs and inject venom into their prey. Not the ending our hero is hoping for. Luckily for him, this centipede has stumbled on a clutch of slug eggs to feast on. Allowing our spider to make a run for it. Finally, he's made it to the threshold of destiny. But there's a catch. Female horrid ground weaver spiders will kill pretty much anything that lands in their web. Even males, if they're not careful. So he's not home and dry just yet. He needs to send a signal to the female that he's not food. He starts bouncing on the web. This precise, rhythmic pulsing is nothing like the frantic twitches of a prey. The female has noticed. Final flourish, and she approaches, inspecting her suitor. There's still a chance she could decide to make a meal of him.
but instead she moves away. Indifference is preferable to death, and her tolerance shows that she could be willing to share the web with him until she's ready to mate. Resilience is the hallmark of any true hero, and our male will wait until the time is right. And he can complete his West Country Odyssey.